What's up guys and welcome to another Iron Man episode. I'm just AFKing some harps here, getting pretty close to 97 crafting, but I have quite a lot of daily challenges that actually most of them are extended. Not the woodcutting one, but I did extend the agility, hunter, mining and divination one. So I'm going to get a lot of experience to start off the video here. 412,000 experience with 86,000 agility, 70k hunter, 94,000 mining and 120,000 divination. And I did hit a milestone of 90 mining to start off the video. Very nice, I need to get 90 smithing as well and I can start doing Elder Rune. But the last thing I want to say before we start the video, uh, I do have a discord, link is at the top of the description. Hope you guys will enjoy the episode. 97 crafting after 455,000 crafting experience AFK at the harps. I'm still going to AFK some more, but uh, only two more levels until another 99. Okay, I feel pretty done with AFK and crafting now. I've been doing some other stuff for some other video that you might have seen by this upload, but uh, 685,000 crafting done, 882 to 98, but yeah, definitely getting close to 99 on that scale. I want to briefly explain, meanwhile I'm just doing some daily challenges, what I want to go for on the account in the near future. It is a very long grind and I'm not going to make like four videos in a row just grinding it out because that seems kind of boring content. But my melee gear has been very bad because I haven't really focused on it. As you can see, I have very bad melee stats compared to my ranged and magic. You can see 116 magic, 114 ranged. And I have like a mix of uh, bandos and like one... Uh, God Wars 2 uh, melee chest plate. So my melee gear is really bad. But what I want to do is I actually want to get the masterwork armor, which is a massive mining and smithing grind. It takes a very long time. You need like thousands of each bar to actually make the uh, masterwork armor. I haven't fully read into it yet, but it is a massive grind regardless. And you do need 99 smithing and mining to be able to make it. But that would give me instant tier 90 armor without having to do any bosses. And when I do get that armor, I want to actually try some ED3 because I have actually killed one single raid boss on this account. Well, except Dursag and stuff like that, but um, I have actually killed this boss once in hard mode. I don't know if it's always hard mode or if it's not. I accidentally might have killed it in hard mode when I didn't even know what it is. But regardless, I've killed this once and the experience that you get in melee in ED3 is insane and doing the ambassador learning all of it would be super fun as well I really want to get into it but doing it with like bandos gear seems very bad so I want to get these two at 99 good for my maxing and then make the masterwork armor then go straight into ED3 so that is the plan but I will work on that slowly over the course of a couple of videos most likely actually mining some bane ore so I will be able to get to 90 smithing before I can start doing the level 90 mining stuff for Elder Rune. But I have some daily challenges I completed, some of them are extended, 285,000 experience, 64,000 herb lore. I buy, uh, most of these weren't actually extended, I think the rune crafting one was, but most of the other ones weren't because I barely have any wiswax right now. I had like 300 and I used all of them on uh, last time I extended a lot of them. And uh, there we go, that is a 90 smithing completed. We can now finally get into the Elder Rune grind. And the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is make an Elder Rune pickaxe. But uh, for Elder Rune, you can actually upgrade it all the way to 5 instead of 4. Can I uh, maybe open the smithing interface? There we go, you can see here on the Bane, I can go all the way to plus 4. But on the Elder Rune, you can go all the way to plus 5. And the difference between the cost... Let's go to Bane Pickaxe, 16 bars for uh, plus 4 Bane Pickaxe. Of course, all the cost as well on the way there. But the Elder Rune is 32 on the last one. So double that amount. So it's going to take quite a while, but uh, let's get into it. First step completed, made the Elder Rune Ore Box. And I have a Elder Rune Pickaxe plus 3, so I still have to upgrade it two more times. But uh, just went like a quick trip to get at least the pickaxe in itself. Oh my god, look at that. That is by far the best Seren Spirit I've ever had. Just having this necklace just gave me 156 Onyx Bolts randomly. That's like 1.3 million in cash. 670,000 mining experience later, we have 1,000 Dark Animica. 
And now at 1.3 million, I've already started making some Elder Rune bars, but I got 1k light Anemica as well. As you can see, they're pretty similar. But now to be able to make a lot of these Elder Rune bars, around 1k of them, I actually have to get 1000 Rune bars as well. So I am actually working on getting Luminite right now, which I have some decent amount of Stone Spirits of, and then I have to get a lot of Rune. So when I have like 920 Luminite and 920 Runeite ores, I'll be back. Just a quick side note, in the beginning of the video I said that you need thousands of bars to make the Masterwork gear. It looked like it when I looked into it the first time, after looking into it a bit more, I think you only need 600 of each bar, and then a lot of time smithing the Masterwork pieces to actually make it. So it is a big grind, but not as big as I thought it would be. So I got the 1000 rune bars done, now it's just the elder rune bars I have to smith and I've got 16,000 smithing experience just from doing this currently. And uh, after that I have to upgrade my pickaxe to plus 5 which doesn't really require that much elder rune bars. And then after that I'll just try to make the full elder rune set. I'm not sure if I'll have enough uh, bars or how many bars in general it takes to make the full rune set. I think... I should be able to, I mean a thousand bars to make the full set seems a bit uh, excessive. So uh, let's see how many I have left after I've made the whole set, as well as how much smithing experience I will get from just making one Elder Rune set plus five. Oh my god, dude, I didn't even notice. I was actually like super AFKing, and I just saw people wrote grats to me, and I'm like, wait, what, for what? Like, what? And then I just saw I got the pet. Smithing pet. That is actually really cool. Decided to actually just use all the Elder Rune bars and I only have 8 left, I can't really do much with that, so I'm going to be done for now with that. And I managed to make 2 4 plus 5 sets with that and 1 chest and a 3 legs. But I got 1 point or 1,061,000 smithing experience, but I still have like 400,000 more I can get, so I'm going to get pretty close to the mining experience. Because I can actually make these burial sets, and I have two full sets, I will be able to make two. And look at the experience for this, 192,000 experience for just one of these. So uh, it is going to be quite a lot of experience. Finished all the bars and everything, the burial sets, and I got 1.5 million or just below that in smithing. So not quite 93, but I was a bit ahead on mining already, so it's, it seems pretty fair to me. But that is going to be the smithing progress towards the masterwork for this episode. And what I want to do now is actually I want to get more porters because I have to do more archaeology in the future and I'm all out of them. And I want to get that through 99 divination the same way that I got all the porters last time. So I'm going to quickly rush to 99 divination in the uh, halls of memories. Taking a very brief divination break here, 1.3 million roughly experience in. Actually pretty close to 97 already, so it's going pretty smooth. To do some dailies, I have the uh, mining one extended, but the other ones I do not have extended. I've been slacking quite a lot on the wax actually, so I should be doing that more frequently. I'm at 1.2k memory shards so far. And actually, as a matter of fact, um, I got the tip from a, one of my comments in one of my videos when I actually used all of these to make porters, that it's actually more value to make the lower tier porters because they are more charges per shards compared to the highest one. So if I'm not wrong, I think if you calculate it like this, the porter 4 is... 16 memory shards and that is 20 charges I think and the highest one is 30 charges and has 30 cost So that's one memory shard per charge and this one is well 16 for 20 So it's more value to make only these because you will just put them into the necklace anyways That's all the challenges completed for 295,000 experience and actually got a level this time is 78 rune crafting Okay, so I'm about to hit the 99 divination. Finally, actually, it was quite a grind. Pretty much 4 million divination experience. I just want to say that I saw in my analytics that 75% of the people that watch my content isn't actually subscribed. And most people that watch my content might just not even think about it. They just see it in the recommended and they click it. So if you do enjoy my content, please remember to subscribe. It really helps my channel get uh, more attention, of course, and you get notified when I post videos. But here we go, that is 800 experience of 99. Okay, here we actually go. This is the 99 divination. Feels really good to actually hit this because this is a very slow and boring skill in my opinion. 
So getting another 99 out of the way as well as it being a very slow one is great. So what I'm going to do now, I almost got 3.5k of them and I do think the uh, port I want to make actually has a uh, even cost of... Oh, it doesn't have an even cost, so never mind. I was going to get two more, so I would get uh, an exact amount of porters. But uh, yeah, let's see how many porters we actually can make with this. It's actually a very easy calculation. It's just 20% more charges that you get making these than these, because these are 30 charges and they take 30 memory shards, meaning that I had 3,498 memory shards when I started, and that's exactly how many charges I would get with the highest tier, but it's 20% less to make the signer porters four so that means 20 percent more charges meaning about 700 more charges than if i would make the highest tier so i will be getting around 4350 i think if the math is correct by making these instead of 3500 roughly but now I feel like we've done enough skilling for the video. I'm really happy with the progress, 99 divination and 93 mining end, pretty close to 93 smithing, working on that masterwork grind. So let's do some next now, my current next KC, if you give me a second I'll look it up. I currently have 43 next kills and I have I think 2 pernix boots and Virtus, I got the Virtus wand and robe bottom last episode I think and I have the Virtus boots. So I have a lot of Virtus items, but the absolute best items I could get is the Virtus uh, hood and the Virtus robe top. Those are the best items, and if I would get both of them, my magic set would be very, very strong. I actually always tend to forget to equip my Luck of the Dwarves, but now I have it on. So let's see what the first loot is going to be. It is some magic seeds. Second loot is going to be Uncut Dragonstones. Third loot is Restores and Sardom and Bruce. Restores and Sardom and Bruce again. I'm actually kind of running out of the criminal bolts. I have enough for quite a few more kills, maybe like seven more kills in total. I have 130 something left. Yeah, 135. Uh, but let's see what the fifth kill is going to be. It is going to be Virtus Mask. That's exactly what I wanted, right? Virtus Mask, and now only the body. I have been so lucky on this boss, it's actually insane. Let's have a look at this. That's such a good upgrade from Subjugation. 12 minutes left on my sharpshooters, I have time to do one more after this one, but uh, let's see if we can get a back-to-back. -back. That would be super nice, Virtus Robe Top. Okay, another super source. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the last loot is going to be. We got 15 next kill in total, and restores again. That's a lot of restore drops. As a matter of fact, I actually really want the Ring of Death, and I need more Reaper points anyways for another Hydrix in the future when I want to go for the Essence of Finality, the necklace that combines both the Reaper and the Amulet of Souls necklaces. So I will need a lot of Reaper points, a total of 600, and I currently have actually... Let's have a look how many I have. I have uh, 255, so pretty much halfway done already. But uh, if I get just 45 more, I can get the Ring of Death, which is quite a good upgrade from the Asylum Surgeon Ring. And I currently have a Vendicta and Gorvec task, so I'm going, co going to complete that, and then after that I can get another task. That's the Vendicta task done, and nothing too good dropped either, but I got 18 Reaper points for that, so let's see what the next Reaper assignment is going to be. Okay, for Telos, I cannot do that, so I'm going to take another one, but uh, the next one I will have to do because I don't want to get too much of a penalty. Dagonoth Kings, that is very easy. I actually hadn't done the Dagonoth Kings since the rework, and that was a very long time ago, but uh, 10 Reaper points are so not too many, but uh, this was surprisingly easy compared to like old school RuneScape or the older way of doing it. So very happy about that, and also of course it was way easier to get to the boss with the portal. Actually just today there started an event with some spring blossoms or whatever it's called, the Guthix butterfly event. And you can actually get experience in quite a lot of skills and it seems like you can also buy these lamps for tokens and you, I think you get them pretty fast. And in the pillar in the middle you actually get agility experience and that is a skill I am kind of dreading to do to 99 because it's very click intensive. The experience seems kind of bad, not that great, but very AFK of course, and if you can spend the tokens on experience lamps and get them in agility, then it might be some decent experience, so I'm going to try it out, but uh, also I guess this is like cooking maybe, and on the other side it's, uh, oh it's herb lore, how much herb lore experience do you get? 
8 per drop. That is <laughs> not that great. And cooking is a fast 99, so that is not that important. But uh, I'm probably going to do agility here. And I'm going to try to see if I can buy the experience lamps also with the tokens I'll get. There's actually no way this is worth it. The experience lamp is probably going to give like 10,000 experience and getting one of them takes quite a long time. And I've only got 3,000 experience by being here for like 10 minutes. So this is not that good experience, but the Guthix butterflies are up. And uh, if I can find one, may maybe that's already one there. It's going to give me, I think, experience in my lowest skill. And I don't know how many you can catch per day. But let's see, I should be getting it in archaeology, I guess, if it, if you can actually get it in archaeology. Let's see how much experience it's going to be. If I can actually catch one, there's quite a lot of them here, so it should be easy. 2,400 archaeology experience, and I can catch 10 every day, so that's 24,000 archaeology experience I'll get every single day for free. wonder if it's a difference between the yellow and the green ones. Let's catch a yellow one and see what we get. No bonus experience. Oh, bonus experience. So I Iron Man can't get that. So I just have to catch the green ones, I guess. Of course, keeping up with the tiers of Gothics as well. I got 189 tiers this time, so not quite 200, but still 56,000 archaeology experience is very nice. With 283 Reaper points, I got another Vendicta task, and I think I got 18 last time. So that might mean I will be able to buy an Hydrix after this. Let's see how many points we get. Perfect, 18 points, nothing too interesting. I actually got a lot of dragon bones drops, but uh, they're like, I guess, 300 experience-ish on uh, cremation, all of them. So I guess this is like 200 and something thousand experience in prayer. Probably not going to use that for a while though, but I have enough points now to buy a Hydrix, and uh, we can make that Ring of Death, which is going to be a very nice upgrade. One point above 301 points, so let's buy the incomplete Hydrix, and I guess I have to actually use an Onyx on that. And I don't think I have an Onyx, but getting one is probably not that bad. I can actually do a Raxor and get one, I think. Let's see what paths is up right now. It is... The Darkness one is blocked, so I... It's that Spider Minion, very annoying, but I can do that. I can probably get an Onyx that way. Realized I had three Triskelion keys in the bank and they can actually give you Onyx. And uh, that's a lot of charms, holy. Uh, I'm going to bank all of that. It's instant now, so there's no animation. That's kind of nice, I guess, if you have a lot of keys. But uh, last one, this has a chance of giving me an Onyx, as I said. So let's see if we can get it. No. So let's uh, go to Araxor, I guess. Oh, there we go. That wasn't actually that long at all. Uh, two uncut Onyxes. That was like four kills or something like that, so uh, let's go and make the Ring of Death finally. Suppose you just use the Onyx on the incomplete Hydrix, and yes, and we have a uncut Hydrix. Now we craft that for uh, very small amounts of experience, and I guess if we go to go- I have no gold bars! Do I have any gold ore? Where is even gold ore? I have no gold ore, I have to go get some gold. Okay, now I have gold, so uh, let's actually make the Hydrix ring. And I have everything in my inventory to enchant it to the Ring of Death as well. So let's uh, quickly do that. So I can actually click this. Enchant the ring and get the Ring of Death, which is 25 in all stats, as opposed to 21 in all stats. So that is a upgrade. What's the prayer as well? Three prayer, and this one has zero prayer actually, so that is really nice of an upgrade. Uh, and of course, the effect is 50% ch chance of restoring up to 5% adrenaline when a target is killed. Teleport the wearer to the respawn point with all their items when they die at a cost of 15% charge. So that is actually really nice. If you get a lot of onyxes, you basically never have to pay for your uh, death basically if you have to waste like a million which is usually what it costs for me when i die at next or something like that then uh, this ring will just save me for a 15 percent charge and that's going to be it so you can actually upgrade this ring as well you can imbue it with a techie but i actually have a very small amount of techie i don't know if i can go into uh, the currency pouch or something okay i don't want to go into this now i guess or actually maybe it's here I think the overall I have is like 6,000 techie or something like that. 
Oh, 4.4k, yeah. So I've done a bit of Beastmaster Dursag, but not enough to imbue it at all. So I'm just going to keep this unimbued. It is good either way. And in the future, if I do more raids, I will uh, imbue it. I think this is a good stopping point with all the Hydrix jewelry completed, except for the Essence of Finality, of course, the Death Touch Bracelet, Ring of Death, and the Amulet of Souls. My ranged gear is looking crispy, if you ask me right now. But I'm working on some crafting now, will be AFKing some harps, and I'm halfway to 98, so maybe the next video will start off with 98 crafting, and getting really close to another 99 is always very nice. I have a lot of 99s to claim, to be honest with you, mining and smithing being some of them, fishing and cooking is also extremely close, but I don't want to ramble too much. This is the end of the video, if you did like the video, please leave a like, and by the way, on my last, I think it was the last Iron Man episode, I asked for 200 likes, you guys hit with me 230 likes. I haven't even checked, it's probably even higher now, but oh my god guys, thank you so much, it is so cool to see that uh, we can actually reach those kind of numbers, so thank you guys again, I hope you have a great day.